Hi people, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Today I'm going to show you guys our second tutorial for our software named Blender. Now, like I told you guys, this software is for making 3D meshes, movies, and games. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to rotate, how to scale, and how to extrude uh, an object. Now, right here in the middle we have our cube. I'm gonna delete this camera it's right on the middle now let's go to our front view present the number one on our, on our num keypad there we go and from here right click let me put this right down there we go if you want to make it better go to your quad view present control alt Q so from here I will see the front. There we go. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you guys how to extrude from your meshes. Now, extrude means expand, it's like expanding parts of your meshes or your objects that you have on your project. Now, for that, you need <coughs> to select the four points that we have on the top like these fours that we have right here let me deselect this okay now let's go on to, into our edit mode for that pressing the tab key now here we are on the edit mode now if you go to your perspective view we're going to choose only the four points that we have on the top that are these four that I have selected right now now from these four right here on the front press the E only one time the E key left click only once press your control key and pull up the box and as you can see it has suspended the box making another one of the same shape so let's do it one more time press the E button the E key for extrude left click only once hold your control key and pull up so we have three boxes here now let's go to our perspective view pressing control alt Q Let's say that I want to rotate all these boxes because I want to try, I don't know, something new. Maybe I'm going to create a gun or a building that's going to be messed up with something like that. Just deselect whatever you have, pressing the A key. Press the A key once again so you can select everything that you have on the other mode, working with the mesh or the meshes that you have. Right now we have only the cubes, so it's the only thing he will select. Now, let's say I want to rotate this at 90 degrees going to the Y axis. The Y axis, as you can see, is the green one. Now, for that, just hit the R key on your keyboard. Press the Y key. As you can see, it has selected the green line on the middle. This is the one that you're seeing right now. Let me do it again. Now, let's type 90. 90 only and press enter as so you can see that's the the best way to have everything vertical or horizontal so you can uh, you can have everything right uh, lined up now let's say I want to put it back the way it was you can press your control key and the Z or zebra so you can redo whatever you have made or you can rotate it back again if it was 90 degree, you can press the R key, the Y, minus 90, and enter. And that's it. You have it back again. Same thing for the other sides of the aces. So I want to work with the red one. It's the X. Press the R, the X, right 90, and enter. As you can see, it's the same thing. Now... I'm gonna uh, going to get out from here. No, I'm gonna show you guys how to scale. Now, for scaling, press the S key. 
Yes, you can see you can scale, make it bigger, smaller, blah 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 blah. Okay, now you can scale the objects working with your aces. Now for the Y, for the X, and for the Z. And how is that? You just press the S key on your keyboard, choose the aces that you want to work. Now let's say it's going to be, I don't know, uh, X. X is going to the is the red one. Let me work with the red one. Just drag whatever you want to do. Okay, give me a second. I got up. Okay, here we go. S X. Yes, you can see. You can scale how much you want the object. Now let's work with the blue one. For the blue one is the Z. Press the S key and then the Z for zebra. And now you can expand. So from here we have a little wall, as I can see. Now let's say that I want to expand the Y. That is the green S, Y, and expand. That's the best way that you can expand anything on your perspective view on on Blender. Now let's get out from the edit mode, pressing the Tab key. Well, I think this will cover at least the second tutorial talking about scaling, rotating, and, and extruding from the meshes. Um, our third tutorial, I'll try to teach you guys how to make a simple character. And for the fourth tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to add the bones so you can start making animations for that character. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment, guys. Hit the like button, write a comment, and if you haven't subscribed, just click the little button right there and subscribe. Bye-bye.